Hi, Keith Wilson here, and in this short video, I want to show you the enormous power of using the Mail Merge feature with Enact, and just how easy it is to achieve outstanding results. Now, if you're not familiar with the concept of Mail Merge, it's simply this. The ability to send a document, such as a letter, fax, or email, to multiple contacts all in one process. ACT allows you to send a document to a lookup of contacts or to a selected group or company. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to send the same sales letter to a pre-populated group of 14 qualified contacts. One other key aspect of Mail Merge, as you'll shortly see, is how very simple it is to get something out to many people. Consider using this functionality to carry out a sales exercise. Or how about a customer satisfaction survey? Or something else of your choice? The options are simply unlimited, so let's take a look at this very powerful concept. So here we are at step one of this four step wizard, and you're asked to specify how you want to output your merge. The word processor option will merge your template with the specified contacts and show you the results in your word processor. This option is great as it allows you to check the documents for any errors prior to printing. One other thing to note here, for this demonstration I'm using the ACT word processor, but if you prefer, you can use Microsoft Word. You can output your merge to email which importantly will send a unique email to each and every contact and nobody else within the merge knows who else received this message. This is a key point as it's a question I'm constantly asked. One other point to be aware of if outputting your merge to email is that it sends the messages through your own mail server so you must be extremely vigilant one, not to send out spam messages that could potentially get your domain blacklisted. And two, not to send the message out to too many people. In my experience, an absolute maximum if using this method is 250, although my preferred number would be no more than 100 at a time. I'm not going to dwell on these parameters in this video as I purely want to focus on mail merge as a concept rather than the individual options available to you. Not only that, from Act 2010, you now have the potential of using much more powerful e-marketing tools that allow you to send emails to many more individuals, but instead of sending out through your own servers, the messages are sent much more efficiently through servers on the internet but more on this in another tutorial. The third option is to send the merge directly to the printer. Now this pretty much does exactly the same as the word processor option, with the exception of allowing you to check the resulting merge before printing. So for obvious reasons, I suggest you choose this option very cautiously indeed. And the last option, which as you'll see is greyed out on mine because I've actually not got a fax solution configured, is the ability to send a merge out to a fax system. ACT does support the integration of most third-party fax applications. But again, just one little side note here, the fax features available through your ACT software are simply limited by the fax software product you select. So that's the output options available to you. But as I said, for this example, I'm going to choose the word processor option. Now, step two asks you what document template you want to use for this particular merge. The important point here is that you must create your template first before performing your merge. For instructions on how to do this, please refer to my other videos. Today, I'm going to use the one titled demo template. So I simply browse to my templates directory. There's the template that I want to use. And once I'm happy, I simply click on next. Now step three of this amazingly simple step-by-step -step wizard asks you who you want to send the merge to. 
So you can choose the current lookup, just the current contact, all contacts in the database, a group of selected individuals, or all the contacts at a particular company. Now for demo purposes, as I said, let's select a group I've already prepared called Sage Accounts Customers No Act. These people have purchased Sage 50 accounts in my fictitious company. However, they have not yet bought ACT. So this is a perfect scenario in respect of the mail merge functionality as you can cross sell your products and services very, very easily. And a key thing here is that once these processes are set up, you can use them over and over again, which means a serious increase in efficiency. So once you've selected the contacts that you want to receive this particular merge, simply click on next and that's it. And I'm sure you'll agree, nothing I've shown you there was difficult. It's simply a three-step process. How do you want to output your merge? What template do you want to use? And who will receive your message? So the last step is to simply click on finish and let ACT perform its magic. And the resulting document includes 14 personalized letters, all individually addressing the 14 contacts contained within the selected group. Notice it's individually personalized the salutation. I've also got it to personalize the individual further down in the document as well. So here's the second contact. And again, second name is referenced there. So 14 professional looking documents personalized to each individual within my selection, ready to output to the printer.